ओके हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द सी 2020 टू सर्टिफिकेशन कैटलिस्ट सीरीज दिस क्वेश्चन सम आई हैव अ जेनकिंस पाइपलाइन व्हिच नीड्स अ कोर्स स्नेपर टू रन इन बोथ विंडोज एंड लिनक्स एनवायरनमेंट फॉर द बिल्ड टू सक्सेस हाउ कैन आई कमेंट सच अ थिंग्स इन जेनकिंस सो आई हैव अ बिल्ड बट इट नीड्स टू रन इन बोथ विंडोज एंड लिनक्स ओके फॉर एग्जांपल वन पार्ट ऑफ द पाइपलाइन नीड्स टू रन ऑन लिनक्स एंड मे बी अ पैरेलल पार्ट आल्सो नीड्स टू रन ऑन विंडोज बेस्ड ऑन द इनपुट और समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके So what is option A? You need to have two separate Jenkins master installation, one for Windows, one for Linux. Split the pipeline to run the different steps in the two different masters. B. You can have a single Linux Jenkins master and different agent or slave nodes. So one agent node for Windows, one for Linux. But you still need to split the pipeline into two separate pipelines. Have one run in Windows and one in Linux. C. You can have only a single Jenkins master, but different agent or slave node, similar to B. One for Windows and one for Linux, but you don't need to split the pipelines. So the difference is you don't need to split the pipeline into two separate pipelines as such. You can simply specify which stage runs on which agent and so on. And D, the above is not possible natively in Jenkins. You need to install the OS concurrency plugin to allow different agent VMs to support different OS variants. So before very quickly, uh, let me first go to my Jenkins. Yeah. So if you see here, okay, this is my Jenkins job. Okay. Now, if you see one second, mm. where is that? Oh, yes, restrict where this project can run. So, if you see by default, the build of this project will be executed on any agent which were available and configured to accept new builds. When this option is checked, you have the possibility to ensure the builds of this project only occur on a certain agent or a set of agent. So, for example, here I could have come here. Okay, and I could have said that this should run only on Windows servers, or as they are mentioning here, Win server. Okay, now if I just duplicate this and just try to show you, so what does this mean? That say if I have a lot of agents, so this job will be restricted to only agents whose tag or label is Win server. So if I come here and I see my nodes. Manage nodes and clouds, and if I go to Win Server, you will see that I can configure. I can say what is my level. So here, Win Server. So what does this mean? This means that this job will effectively only run on this server, basically on this agent, nowhere else. But what I want is that I will have basically two nodes. So here, I have one node called Win Server. So I have another node called Linux. So one is Win Server, another is Linux Server. Linux Server. Now I want that my same job. Okay, so here you will see that no, this is not same. This is one job, but I want the same job, one part of the job to run in Windows, and another part of the job to run in Linux. Okay, so if I come here and leave this new item. Okay, I think I had a test pipeline. Let's see, configure. So see, this is the strict part. So if you see here, you can do something like this. So there is other things also you can do, but for example, you can do something like this. So what this means is that I have this stage in my pipeline. Now it has steps. Now this step, this build dot sh, this is going to run on Linux agent. So my node should be labeled as os underscore linux. And then I have another one, OS underscore Red Hat. So this is very important. So one is OS underscore Linux, another is OS underscore Red Hat. So in the same job, I can effectively run both. So one part of my job can run in OS underscore Linux, another is OS underscore Red Hat. So it is possible if I am using, for example, either a declarative pipeline or a scripted pipeline. So this was a scripted pipeline. Okay. Uh, you can also uh, run it via Jenkins file also. So basically, as you can see, similar, similar kind of thing. You can use script also to if the environment is Ubuntu. I mean, but this is not uh, needed. Mostly, this is good enough. Okay. So what I was trying to say here is that you can have multiple agents on your distributed build architecture. That is one of the points of having the distributed build architecture. You can have agents for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and based on your requirement, you can run either your job completely on a particular agent. 
okay so you can say this job it's a dotnet code job which needs windows dls windows dependencies uh, say dependencies on the global assembly cache and the gag and so i am running it completely on the windows agent or for example on linux agent otherwise you can have stages or steps in your pipeline also run in different nodes so for example this step will run in this node then the next step will run in the other node so here if you see the answers the first option is obviously it's also a viable option i can have two separate jenkins master installation but i don't need it i can have just two separate nodes slave nodes and run secondly you can have only one jenkins master but they seem to split the pipeline into two separate pipelines no i don't need to do it as i showed you i can have I can rather split my pipeline into two different stages rather than completely setting, splitting them into two different pipelines. So they say the answer is C. You can have a single Jenkins master, but you have different agent or slave nodes. So one agent node for Windows, one for Linux. You don't need to split the pipeline also into two separate pipelines or separate jobs. You can simply specify which stage runs on which agent and something like that. Okay, so something like that you can do. D, this is not for, again, D is irrelevant. There is nothing called OS Conferency plugin and basically this is natively possible in Jenkins via either scripted pipeline or declarative pipeline and the answer is C. So you can see the answer is C. You can have a single Jenkins master but different agent or slave nodes, one for Ion Windows, one for Linux. You don't need to split the pipeline into two separate pipelines. You can simply specify which stage runs on which agent and so on. So thank you everyone. This was quite simple but please know that you will get questions like this a lot in your uh, exam and so please be uh, careful that you pay um, strong focus on this distributed build architecture that Jenkins supports quite uh, natively. Thank you.